Hi, I'm Shannon with Pick and Boost Vintage, and I am down in sunny Southwest Florida, and um, I'm coming to you live on the Iron Orchid Designs page, and we're going to make a fun pillow. I so let's go back to the beginning. This is a pillow. It says, not tonight, maybe tomorrow. And then if you flip it around, it says, tonight is your lucky night. This is a perfect gift for newlyweds or the couple that has everything. All right, so we're gonna start with this one. This is the Alpha one. Uh, it's retired, but a lot of stockers still might have it. I just sold my last one last week. Love now, I, I always count out how many letters I'm gonna be using and how many spaces, so that way I know how to plan my project. Now, the front side will have 26 total character spaces and the back will have 27. So I know that it's gonna be pretty even. Um, I have a big piece of fabric here. Normally I would start in the middle, but since I know that they're both about the same, I'm gonna start on the total left-hand side and just work my way over. That way I can get rid of any extra fabric that I don't need because this is just a big roll of the fabric. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply take my brayer and put some ink on there and I'm gonna roll it on here. Some people like to use the stamp pad. I just see my get better results with the brayer when I put the ink on. Now sometimes you can get a little messy with the ink, like you might accidentally, you know, skid a little extra piece on here, but that's why we're gonna do the fronds around the words because you can just kind of hide or mask the imperfections. So I have here is a little, um, it's a stud finder, but it also helps you hang pictures on the wall. I use this here so I can make sure that when I put my my words on, they are straight. So I'm gonna put that down here, move my computer. Now the fabric is a little uneven, which is okay because when I go to sew it, it'll be, it'll be straight across. So here we are. Here's my straight line. Now I'm going to take this that is all inked and I'm going to set it down here. I'm going to go ahead and push on each of the letters to make sure that I get all the ink onto my fabric. I'm keeping a firm grip here so when I'm moving around, I'm not going to shove the letters and make them move a little bit. I want them to stay in place. Ta-da! Okay, see my line here? Let me move this over just a little bit. The line is because, <laughs> whoops, there's a hole in my table here. So when I continue to stamp, I'll make sure I avoid that line. But I kind of like it. It adds a little bit of uh, zip to it. <laughs> okay, bit. so here's tonight. Uh, a trick that I use is I always, I like the thin mounts that have the grids on them because it helps me line up my letters perfectly. Well as perfect as they're going to be for me. I'm not a perfectionist, so I don't stress too much if it's a little bit crooked. Okay, so I'm just going to take my ink and I'm going to roll it under my letters. I'm looking at my red laser line and I'm going to put it right here. Now I'm going to trace each letter making sure I'm getting the ink off and I'm gonna lift. Ta-da! Okay. okay, so I need to put the T, so I'm going to just steal the T off of here and I just have another piece of clear. I'm gonna set it on there. And I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna go ahead and put All right, there we are. So not tonight. Now we're gonna keep going. I'm just gonna. Ah, all right. So it's 
It's coming out perfect. All right, so now I'm going to show you actually how I do my letters because I have to do um, the whole word tomorrow and I have to pull. So I'm going to start over here on my right, take my T, make sure I line it up across the bottom grid and push on it. Oh, you want to be careful. The first time I did this, I noticed that the top has a little bit more of a space than the bottom and you want it to be like your T. So put the space at the top. T O M. Okay. So now I need another O. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick it up from here and put it over here. I know that I already have it perfectly measured here, so when I go back to add the O, it'll fit perfect. Now I need another R, so what I have to do is I'm gonna mark right where the R ended, pick it up, and just move it over. Now I know that I have perfect spacing between my O and my R for when I need to add them in. And then I need another O here. <laughs> ah. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one again. And I'm just going to leave that there. And my W. Now this is a long word. You can break it up if you want to, but I'm going to just do it all the same time. I want to be careful when I pick this up because it is long and I don't want them to. There we go. There we go. It's just the camera. It's not the, the pillow. It's really straight. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how I go back and change this. So I know I need an O here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my O back here. And I need... Um, another R. So I'm just going to hold my place again and I'm going to go back and put the R where it originally was. I do need another O here, but I can't do that yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the letters that I do not need. And I'm going to make sure I push them down just to make sure they're not going to slide around on me. And ink these. And it's magic the way it sh they just fit. bit more. Now this can be tricky sometimes. I'm just going to eyeball this. Should be on the line. Pretty good. And push. There. Now all I need to do is just put the, the O in there. And I don't need to line it up. I'm just going to use an empty, the empty, um, this is just a clear thin mount. I'm just gonna stick it on here, ink it up, and then line it up. Put it here. Ta-da! There we are. So that is how you do a word that has um, more than one of the same letter. You just place, hold, move, and then re-stamp. And then it comes out like it was one whole big stamp. So what I want to do now, instead of just doing the other side, you already saw what the other side looks like. I want to show you how I'm going to be using these, the fronds. I'm going to add these to the pillow. 
Uh, you can choose whatever stamps you want. They have so many different ones. You can do the new sunflower. That'd be really cute on here. Or the peonies or uh, any one of them. They're super cute. So even the roses, that'd be darling on here too. This is where you can become creative and layer and do whatever. Typically, you can use a mask on here. I don't want to use a mask because I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to play and I'm just going to put them in different angles. And so I'm going to get out my, here's my ink. This is called New Grass. And I'm going to just put it on a piece of cardboard just because it's easy for me. Got my brayer. And now, oops, let's, let's ink, um, let's do this one here. So let's pick this one first. And there's no rhyme or reason how I put them on. I just kind of put them on. Look at that. Now, something that I like to do is um, I like to add dimension. If any of you watch me on my own uh, Facebook page, I do some painting, different things on there. I always talk about dimension and layers and layers and layers. So this is cute and all with the green, but what I like to do, I'm gonna do it with this one here. I like to take a little bit of black and then run the green over it. It kind of smushes it and mixes it, but it kind of gives a little bit of, let me see if I can show you. I'll put this down here. So see, it's not as green. It adds a little bit more dimension and layer to it. It just looks more realistic, I guess you can say. So I love to do that. Just add a little bit of black first and then put the green over it and it, you can see the, the difference. It's getting a little, getting a little messy. I have some, a lot of ink over here. Now, if I were to try to stamp that, I'd probably, knowing me, I'd probably get that all over the pillowcase. So I'm just going to wipe it. Let me get my baby wipes because I have them handy here. Mm. And I'm just going to wipe that off because I don't want to risk that ink going on to my pillow. So there is one little design. And I could actually put some more up here. You can put them wherever you want. I'm going to slide down and get some more around the tomorrow. What do you guys think so far? You love the, the fronds? These are just so cute, and right now the fronds are so popular with decorating in the green vase and stuff. So these really are fun, and they're very popular right now. Okay, so I'm going to scooch this down just so we can see what we've got going on here. So we have these, and then we have the maybe. Now I need to just do a little bit over on the not side. <laughs> we want it to still be happy. Another thing you can do if you don't want to, um, if you sew it or you hot glue it where you won't be able to wash it, if you just use some Scotch Guard, that should protect your pillow. Okay, we got a few more, and then we're gonna take a peek at our fun pillow. Okay, so this is what we created so far. You see that? Yeah, I do have that line here. I have a few options. I can re-stamp that if I want to. Just be mindful, like I wasn't, that if you have something on your table, it'll come through when you stamp. And you do the exact same thing to get um, the other side of the pillow. So you will put, um, tonight is your lucky night, and then you can either just hot glue it, and, or you can sew it, depends on your skill level. Um, now, a trick that I used, because I have a lot of old pillows laying around, I just simply took old pillow apart and used that stuffing on my pillow back here. Uh, you can go to the craft store, you can get the filling that they sell there. Um, Do you heat set it? Yes. If you want to be able to wash it, you should heat set it. You can use your iron, which will take a little bit longer. I think it's like three minutes. Um, 
but definitely heat set it and that'll set your ink onto your fabric. Also, if you know anybody that would love to make a cute little pillow, make sure you share this with your friends. And um, if you're interested in the products you saw today, check the IOD website for a online retailer or visit your local retailer for these fun products. I tell you what, I guarantee you, you will become addicted and you'll be crafting all the time. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for watching and you guys have a fabulous day.